Hey guys, I'm here with another video for you today. So today, since we're in August, it's back to school season and I thought, why not do back to school? I love back to school videos myself. I'm not in school anymore, I go to college, but I still love to watch them. They're just, I don't know what it is about them, but I love to watch them and I'm now loving recording them. I'm planning on doing a full day of recording like soon where I'm just doing back to school stuff for you guys so stay posted for that it'll be a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed the video so so let's get into the video so today I thought I would do um, a couple of hints and tips I don't know how many I actually have but they're all written down here to be honest I filmed this a couple of times because I just wasn't happy with it, like how it turned out so um, I kind of know what's on this, I'm just like keeping it there in case I forget. But anyway, let's just, let's just like start then. First thing that I would recommend to you is make a routine, make a good routine. From the start, what I done was, was it done or did? What I done or what I did? What I done was I, when I came in from school, I... What did they do? When I came in from school, I done my homework, I had dinner, then the rest of the night was, my, was mine, then an hour before bed, I would get all my stuff together, so if I had like maths and, or PE, I would make sure I had my maths drawer, I'd make sure I had my PE kit, I'd make sure everyone was ready, and I'd also lay out all my clothes for, for the next day, and what I would do is I would lay them on, I know this is kind of like you don't have to do this, this is just like what I done. I laid it out in the order that I would put it on so that I didn't like forget anything or wasn't in a rush because I like to stay in my bed a bit longer. I think everyone does. So if I could like have any way to like sort that out then to like have a little bit longer and not be rushing then I was taking it so definitely make a routine will save you a lot of time and a lot of stress. Another thing that I would recommend is that you give yourself enough time to get coursework and homework and just work in general done. So if you have something on Monday and it's due on Friday, don't leave it till Thursday night to do it because it won't do you any good, you'll be stressed, um, it won't be your best work, there'll be lots of mistakes, it won't be as good as it could be if you pardon me if you've done it throughout the week and like if you've done it throughout the week and gave it gave yourself enough time and it, it also means that if you get stuck with anything during it it means you can go and speak to the teacher about it and they'll be able to help you whereas if you do it the night before you won't be able to go in because they'll be like why didn't you do it sooner why didn't you come to me sooner about it I could have helped you um, and just it would be easier on you there was something in my head but because I was talking I forgot about it so we'll just move on anyway don't be afraid to ask for help I know that some people struggle from this I know that it is kind of a big deal in some people's eyes because asking for help means that you're, for some people, means that you're struggling or just something like that and it does help to know, it does help to ask for help, well, <laughs> it does help to ask for help because you can get, because it means you it helps you understand it, that's what the teacher is there for. It'd be, it's kind of stupid for people to sit there stuck with it when they can't ask for help, the teacher's there to help. And also, keep on asking for help if you don't get it. Keep up the teacher there until you fully understand it because there's no point being there, having the teacher there, her going over it and you not understanding it the whole way through it and you're just going yeah 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 I totally understand it totally get it and you don't so 
there's no point lying about it because it's going to affect your education at the end of the day. And what if it came up in a test and you're like, oh, I didn't know that because I'm... Uh, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Talk out in class. I don't mean this in the way of just constantly talking in class and get given into trouble and being told to shut it or be quiet, depending on the niceness and rudeness or rudeness of your teacher. Um, I mean, talk out in group discussions, class um, discussions. It'll help you out. Um, it could be really, really beneficial to the like to the discussion you could learn everyone could learn something new it could be what the teachers actually looking for and it, there's no point holding back with it because it's your thoughts it's your opinions and why would you hold back your opinion another thing that I would say is to defend defend yourself I said that really weirdly <laughs> But defend yourself, and by this I don't mean be confrontational and always up looking for a fight, and but just defend yourself in a way that's still nice, and you're still being like a good person, and that I think I'm like saying this horribly, but. Just basically don't fight about it, just say I don't like that, I don't like how if someone's mean to you, say I don't like that, I don't like how you treated me there, I don't think it was fair, why did what was the reasons, blah blah blah. Just make it known that you don't like it because some people actually respect it more you more when you stand up to them. It respect is a massive thing in school because you're trying to be more grown up, you're trying to be more responsible, be more independent, and it's something that everyone wants. And I don't think it's right of teachers just to expect it because you're a higher, they're a higher authority. Because respect isn't something that you just have. It's something that you get from. It's something that you get. It's a privilege, I would say. It's not like just something that you should give it's a privilege it's something added on um, and also it's a two-way street so if if I am going to respect a teacher I want the teacher to respect me and if the teacher respects me he expects me or she respects they expects me to respect them back it's Two way street, and if everyone just respects each other a wee bit more, I think we would be in a better place in society. So just respect everyone, and that's not just for school, that's for anywhere. If someone says something you don't agree with, just respect their opinion and move on because it's not you're not going to change their opinion, they're not going to change yours, so there's no point in like crying over it or getting worked up over it because it's just energy that you can put into somewhere else like your course work. Now let's talk about, about the first day of school because first day of school can be a stressful thing for anyone. Everyone's going through it at the same stage, at the same time as you. Everyone in your year is going through that at the same time. And the best bit of advice I can give to you on that first day is going talk to someone. Go talk to anyone because it shows it appears to other people that you're not scared. It shows people that you're kinda quite confident and it gives people another it gives people like up there if they're like okay about this then I should be okay about it and they start getting more confidence and it's like what's the word I'm looking for it's like a domino effect um so and also it gives you someone to talk to it gives may give you a potential friendship Um, with friendships I would like to point out that you get you have friends from wherever you were before high school and the friends may stay, but your personalities are developing, like I said, you're becoming an individual, 
and people's people change and you're gonna change too and some friendships may dis disappear, disconnect, like drift away a wee bit. Some may come even closer, but you will make new friends, you will make old friends, you will lose friends, you will gain friends. It's not a bad thing to lose people from your life. Just don't get caught up in it. Just say, right, okay, um, you're not in my life right now, but if you ever come back and need my help, I'm not going to say no because that's not the type of person that... That's not the type of person that I am, that's not the person that I would think you are and I would think if I came to you for help I would want you I expect you to help me because we were friends, we still are, we still talk, we're still chummy and if they're not friends then just, you know what, they're lost. Last thing that I would like to say is kind of cliche, I think everyone mentions this to so someone who's starting school but join a club Join a lunchtime club, an after school club. I know in, I think in America they do like things in the morning. We don't do that in the UK. We just do lunchtime and after school. So definitely join a club because it's people with similar interests to you, similar hobbies to you, and you will find everyone there will have a. a that same interest as you, you will have stuff to talk about to them, you will, and you may get some really good friendships and some diversity, so even if your friends are like, no I don't want to do that, I don't like that, that's nothing to do with me, you do it for you, it's good for you, it gives you more diversity so you're not just stuck with the same people all the time. I had a lot of groups and I met a lot of interesting people that I wouldn't have met otherwise if I didn't join these groups so definitely join a club so that is a couple of hints and tips that I can that I can give you for back to school and to get the most out of your school like year or just in general your entire school time so if you've got anything you'd like to add leave it in the comments below any ideas for videos just anything at all put it in the comment section um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already and you'd like to be, please subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Why did I do that? But bye, guys.